How's it going YouTube? Reed here, back with another video, and I quickly wanted to post this video for anybody asking questions regarding optimal graphics settings for Tarkov 0.12, the new Tarkov update. Uh, I will go ahead and give you guys my PC specs, so you can use that as a reference for what I use depending on the strength of my system, and then I will give you guys recommendations as to what settings you can adjust depending on the strength of your PC. So. If you're a brand new player, I've went ahead and left my game settings screen up here just for you to reference as well. I would recommend getting used to a maximum FOV. This is what a lot of the big time Tarkov players use. And of course, minimize your head bob. Uh, but going over to the really the meat of this video, the important stuff, I see a lot of people ask questions about uh, settings, graphic settings in Twitch chat. So if anybody was looking it up on YouTube, I figured I'd help you out. So just as a reference, I am running an i7 6700K non-overclocked with a GTX 1070 superclocked GPU. So that might be a little bit of a reference. If you have maybe better GPU, better CPU, you might be able to adjust accordingly. Uh, first and foremost, make sure your resolution is set to 1920 by 1080p. This did not come default. I had to put that there manually. So if you're running a 1080p monitor, I would set that. And then of course, play in full screen. I've heard a lot of issues are experienced when using windowed full screen with the mouse moving off the screen. So recommend playing full screen. And I personally do not use VSync. I've had some experience with input lag in the past, so I keep that off. Uh, texture quality, I keep that high. That's probably the most important setting. Uh, just having a very clear screen, seeing a lot of detail on objects, keep that high. And then shadows quality is something that you might be able to play around with uh, to put more stress on your GPU and not your CPU. So I actually keep that high. So there's more load on my GPU, which makes it easier on my CPU because Tarkov still is not that well optimized. Object LOD quality, you wanna keep that between three and four. Uh, from what I've been told, LOD quality really has to do with far away objects rendering. So the lower this is, things aren't going to render and your game is going to kind of look shitty because there's going to be objects that are really there that you're not even going to see. Uh, visibility, I would keep it between 2000 and 3000. This is going to put some stress on your system at higher, you know, higher amounts, you know, 3000 visibility will be a little bit stressful. I keep it at 2000 typically because you don't really see that many players at range in Tarkov and uh, it seems to do the job for me. And then shadow visibility, I keep somewhat low. I don't know if this necessarily has to do with the details of the shadows. Uh, that might be shadow quality. Uh, I like to think that shadow visibility is the shadow you know, visibility at distance. So I keep that lower because typically when I'm looking down a scope, I don't really care to see a bunch of shadows and it might actually make your sight picture a little clearer. Anti-aliasing, I'm running the new option that they have that I believe is part of the new Unity engine. It's doing a really, really good job, though this is going to smear the shit out of your screen. It's gonna make it look like it has a coating of Vaseline on it. So if you come down to sharpness, I recommend putting that all the way up to 1.4. And this has given the game a very daisy look. You can see amazing grass detail at distance now. So I really recommend those two settings there. Um, Resampling, I would keep that to 1x off. And for these three options here, I've been running off, off, and on for these three since my first couple days playing Tarkov. So it's worked and they get the job done. In terms of game FPS limit, I limit mine to 60. So my computer isn't working super, super hard while I'm streaming. Though you might be able to set this higher if you notice that these settings are allowing your system to run the game at 100 FPS, 110 FPS. You could cap this all the way up to 120, but 60 works for me. And then last but not least, I really recommend checking uh, all of these off or unchecking all of these, as you can see. Uh, this is gonna give you a lot of unnecessary effects that just, like I said, aren't necessary at all, and it's gonna keep your game looking really clean. So last but not least, the only other thing I'll touch on is controls. Uh, they've really improved the ability to customize your controls with these different press and release and continuous options. So play around with this uh, for what works for you. But I will give you guys a sensitivity uh, recommendation. I play at 800 DPI, and these are my sensitivities. Um, I actually play at 400 DPI, <laughs> excuse me. 
400 DPI with these sensitivities. So if you're a newer player and you want to get, uh, you know, a relative aiming sensitivity for what people use, 400 DPI is what I recommend keeping your mouse set at, and then these sensitivities here. So thank you guys for watching the video. Sorry for that mess up there at the end. I'm just going to post this raw. I want to get it out there while people are asking questions and, and help as many people out as possible. I had the chance of seeing a few different streamers run these settings, and they've really worked for me as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have a lot more highly edited videos coming soon on Tarkov, especially regarding the hideout. So make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.